Hi, my name is Christian Hulm and I'm product manager for Safety Light Curtains from SIG. In this part of our DTEC4 Prime tutorial series, we will show you how to configure the new functionalities of the DTEC4 Prime. Those functions include the beam coding, the cascading of two DTEC4 Prime systems, the teaching of a restart interlock and the external device monitoring configuration. Furthermore, the reverting of a device to factory settings is demonstrated. The new DTEC4 Prime incorporates a beam coding function to prevent the devices from being influenced by a second system. To configure beam coding, disconnect the device from the power supply. Then detach the system plug by loosening the two retaining screws. On the system plug you find two dip switches. With those switches you can set two different codes by either setting the first switch to on and the second switch to off or vice versa. Make sure to code all corresponding devices accordingly. If beam coding is configured, the field LEDs flash once yellow for code 1 and twice yellow for code 2 each time the system starts up. To cascade another sender receiver pair to an existing standalone system, you need the system plug with extension connection on at least one sender and one receiver. Now, after disconnecting the system from the power supply, you simply connect the other devices to the extension connection from the system plug of the previous device in the cascade. If everything is wired correctly, you can connect the system with the power supply again. The devices which are connected directly to the power supply represent the host devices, while all other devices are guest devices. Now the field LEDs of the devices are flashing green. This is the sign that the devices have entered the configuration mode and the cascading has been successful. Additionally, the blue alignment LED too is flashing to show that the host guest cascade is configured. In case of a host guest guest cascade, LED 2 and LED 3 would flash blue. After another power cycle, the light curtains are cascaded and fully operational again. If you now want to add a local restart interlock to the system, it is just as easy as the cascading. The reset button is connected to the last receiver in your cascade. Therefore, you also need a system plug with an extension connection here. While being disconnected from the power supply, connect the reset button to the open end of the extension connection on the receiver side, at the end of the cascade. Then connect the system again with the power supply, and within 30 seconds you have to press the reset button and release it after 1-3 to three seconds. To signal that the configuration has been successful, the device's field LEDs flash green. The blue alignment LED 4 also flashes to signal that the restart interlock is configured now. After another power cycle the system starts up in the reset required state. The external device monitoring, or EDM for short, of your system is also easily configured. In the default state EDM is deactivated. Simply wire everything accordingly to the operating instructions and on the next power up the DTEC4 Prime will automatically switch into the configuration mode, indicated by the green flashing field LEDs. Moreover, the LED 1 of the blue alignment LEDs is flashing to show that EDM is configured now. It is also possible to configure all functionalities previously shown in one go. Here we have our system in the default state. No functions have been configured yet. However, we already connected the devices to a host guest cascade, the reset button to the last receiver as well as our relay on the EDM input. If we now connect the system to the power supply, it automatically switches into the configuration mode, indicated by the green flashing LEDs. The cascade and EDM are directly configured and we can now press the reset button to include it in our configuration. The three blue alignment LEDs 1, 2 and 4 which are flashing now show us that all functionalities are configured now. After another power cycle they are ready to be used. The last thing to show you in this configuration tutorial is the reverting to factory settings. If you want to bring a device back to its default state, 
which means no cascade, no coding, no EDM and no reset button configured, you have to perform the following procedure. In the first step detach the system plug. Set both of the dip switches to on and put the plug back on the device. Switch on the power. The field LEDs are flashing green and yellow now. Disconnect the device from the power supply within 10 seconds. In the second step, remove the system plug again and set both of the dip switches back to their initial position, which is off. Reconnect the system plug and then the power supply. Now the field LEDs are flashing green. In the third step perform another power cycle and the device is reset to factory settings and ready to be aligned. Here the beam coding configuration is uncoded, but if you want to use code 1 or code 2, you can directly set the dip switches to the corresponding positions during the third step. This process has to be repeated for every single device in your system. Make sure that they are disconnected from the power supply as well as from all other devices during the whole procedure. That's it so far for this tutorial. In the next video of the DTEC4 Prime series, we will show you where to find and handle all relevant service and order information. Bye bye and enjoy working with the DTEC4 Prime.